The Ohio Juvenile Justice Working Group met for the first time today. Governor Mike DeWine started that group earlier this month to do a review of the juvenile justice operations at the Ohio Department of Youth Services. Today, that group heard from the Director of Youth Services about the current climate and the struggles they face. 10 TV's Tara Javor continues our team coverage tonight. Tara? Well, this group is made up of a bunch of different people from sheriffs to those who work in nonprofits and judges. Now, the goal of this group is to improve the juvenile justice system across the state here in Ohio. A group of people from all different backgrounds were tasked by Governor Mike DeWine to improve the juvenile justice system. He's really challenged all of us to think big. Um, and and I think working with the juvenile court judges, our advocates, our great academic institutions, our labor partners, and the support of the governor, the support of the General Assembly, we really can now have an opportunity to make a difference. Today, the group focused on the Department of Youth Services facilities. Amy asked the director of the department, says population management at the facilities is an area that the group should focus on. She says more juveniles have been coming into the facilities than in previous years, and they are staying longer. 18% have zero to six months sentence, 15% or six months to a year, 57% of our youth have one or more years before their minimum sentence date. Ast says that every facility in the state needs more staff. 18% of jobs across the board are open. She says more staff would make a big difference at the facilities. There's no doubt having more staff, being fully staffed, would reduce violence in our facilities, that it would give more staff an opportunity to de-escalate youth prior to them getting in a crisis state that we would have more staff to conduct motivational interviewing sessions. As says that they need more licensed behavioral health clinicians. She says that role is critical for juveniles to improve in their mental health. The high trauma, high reactivity population such as ours, individual sessions are critical to teaching how to self-regulate. And we simply don't have the staff to deliver those individual sessions. And that next meeting will be at the Ohio Safety Building on December 12th. Reporting live in downtown Columbus, Tara Jabor, 10TV News. Tara,